Hi teachers, today I'm going to walk you through how you can take a PDF document and create an editable document in Google Slides that you can share with your students on Google Classroom. So the first thing that I've done is I've opened up a Google Slides presentation and you can go ahead and delete any text boxes that are on the screen. So I'm going to go to File and then Page Setup, Custom, and I'm going to set it up as 8. 0.5 by 11 inches and hit apply. If you're doing a landscape page, just flip flop those numbers and it will get it ready for you. So now I have a tall paper and nothing's in my way. I'm going to go back to my paper here and I need to get my page picked out. So I'm going to go ahead and take my screenshot of the whole page. Mine will save to my desktop. And then I'm going to go back to my Google Slides presentation and right click on the slide and do change background. And I'm going to upload it from my computer. And I'm uploading it to the background just so that students won't be able to move it around. You can also just insert it as a picture, but again, students will be able to shuffle it around a little bit. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add draggable pieces that my students will be able to mark if an option is true or false. So I'm going to take a shape. I'm going to just choose a rectangle and I'm going to make it about that big because it'll fit over the true and falses. And I'm going to fill it with um, a custom color because I can make it yellow and I can make it see-through so it's like a highlighter and click OK. Uh, and then students will be able to drag it over true or false and see their answer. And then what I like to do is just preset it for my students. I can keep hitting duplicate and have one ready for each line of the worksheet. I also added a writing page into my Google Slides and I wanted to show you how you could make this work in Google Slides as well. So there are writing lines built in, but you can add text boxes and make it work pretty well. So you can go to insert text box and you can click and drag and make it the size that you want. And you could type, type here to get it prepped and ready for your students and then you can increase the font size until it looks like it's a pretty natural fit for your students. I'm also going to change the font because for my primary students, I um, prefer something like Century Gothic. So I have type here ready for this. I may also fill it in um, a pale yellow color or something different like that so that it's really... Um, really clear for students and you can make several boxes. I just keep duplicating it so that it shows up and um, cover up all the lines like that so students know where they need to type. So I've just duplicated different text boxes and for this one um, students will be able to continue on typing and fill the whole space. So that's the last type of scenario that might be helpful when you're creating these editable documents for your students is if you want to create something that was drag and drop that has images or text that's already ready. So I have my background in place and I'm going to click back over to my PDF and as you can see there's the sequencing activity and there's words and images already there and I want to keep them there for my students activity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on screenshotting and I'm going to do just one piece at a time. After you screenshot all four of your pieces, you can click insert image and I'm going to insert all four at once. So I clicked shift and selected all four and I'm going to click open and then they will pop into my Google Doc. Now, as you can see, they're a little bit long right now. I can use the arrow key to just kind of adjust them a little bit and now they look pretty good. I'm going to stick a border on them just to clean them up a little bit so students know these are the pieces that they're grabbing. You don't have to do that. Um, but now they're ready to go. So now students will be able to take these pieces and move them into their worksheet, just like that. Of course, please make sure that you are being mindful of the, the terms of use with whatever PDF you're using. Many teachers are okay with their products being used in a closed Google Classroom, but you should not be sharing these documents publicly and with other teachers. It's usually okay for you to um, create a document like this with something that you have purchased. Thanks for watching.